Birmingham, the UK's most dangerous city, with 42% of its residents feeling unsafe. Its crime rate is 20% higher than the national average. Children are being shot dead and kids are taking knives to schools. We had to shoot people, we'd shoot people. If people had to die, people had to die. Now, coming from a small town in England, I've never experienced living in a big city. And many of the major cities in the UK have become notorious for their gang violence and knife crime. How do I feel here for how safe it is? Yeah. But well, last week there was a murder outside our shop. And he's only 34. I do enjoy Birmingham, don't get me wrong. I used to go out club, he needs to be safe, but now you've just got to watch your back. So tonight, I'm going to be staying out overnight on the street to see how dangerous one of the UK's largest cities really is. I'll begin my night at the city centre and venture into the two most feared areas of Birmingham later in the night. Now joining me on this suicide mission is my friend from Birmingham, Goldie. And we actually met on a course called Create and Elle, so make sure you go and, you know, join that if you want to be a YouTuber. So it was time to head down to Birmingham and let Goldie know what's in store. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Hello. Do you want to know what we're doing? Okay, I'm scared. What are we doing? Camp overnight in the UK's most dangerous city, Ian, Birmingham. Joking. <laughs> no. joking. No. I don't know Birmingham, so you're gonna have to show me around. I'm not. I'm not. No, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> no, don't leave me. Don't leave me on the street. Do you feel safe going out at night? I don't feel safe going out in the day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Being from here, you're gonna get followed. One, You've got a lot of druggies here too. Okay. If you want to get robbed and mugged, probably stabbed, probably get hammered in the head. You're in the right place, let's go then. <laughs> okay, that sounds like my cup of tea. It's all okay, because I've got body armour. They ain't stabbing through this. Oh yes, okay. Yeah. And look, anyone stabs me. It's gonna, it's gonna buzz, but what do you think the chances of survival are tonight? Slim to me, nice. So it was time to head to the first stop of the night, the city centre. I mean, this is probably a safe spot for you to sleep in. For the just bit. <laughs> Okay guys, so I want to try and get off the main street. I'm thinking that looks pretty dangerous. So let's go. <laughs> Break! Now shut your mouth! I know what you want to say! Break! I'm yeah. slightly concerned though. I think this is when we get mid. We decided to move away from this guy because we started to feel really unsafe and I attempted to go back to the area that I was originally trying to sleep in. This spot looks pretty nice. We have just seen a rat going to the He's come back. It's getting close as well. Is this even safe to sleep in? I just want to put a huge disclaimer out, guys. This video isn't me trying to be homeless for the night. I can't ever imagine what that pain and struggle is actually like. And looking back, I probably shouldn't have brought the sleeping bag with me. But I felt like blending in was my best option for staying safe. Night, guys. Right, I'm going to try and get some sleep. And after spending a measly one hour on a side street, I can't imagine the anxiety homeless people endure every single night. There's some charities in the description, so please go donate if you can. Right, guys. It is currently blind 22. Right, that is actual shit. We're moving out of this area. And with that, it was time to move on to the two most feared areas of Birmingham. Yeah, there's some dodgy areas. Definitely make Aston, Hansworth. In Lazelle's, you had a man who walked into a shop and just simply shot and killed. Do you think we've had it bad today? We ain't been to Lazelle's. But we couldn't help but get a little bit distracted on the way. <laughs> So having escaped, it was time to head to Hamsworth Park. Goldie, where have you taken us to? You know that scene from, um, is it Get Out? I don't ever want to get out, to be honest. Is the door locked? Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. Why is someone's like lurking behind some trees? Peekaboo! We headed into the park and the plan was to try and sleep on a bench. Until this happened. Oh. What was that? I'm sure it's not me. I think there's someone up there. Hang on, can you see that? Is that someone up there? <laughs> <laughs> So let me just explain what the hell happened. I lay down as you do and I hear a snap in the trees behind me. Now it could have been just a fox or a cat, but given it's the most dangerous part of the country, we weren't exactly expecting the best case scenario. And after seeing some strange ass shadow coming towards us, we liked it. Now that that traumatic experience is over with, it's time to head to the most feared area in the country. We're in hell. <laughs> the first time I took my car out on my own, somebody actually tried to f***ing open my f***ing door. It was 7 in the morning, I was going to work. I locked it and she was trying to open my door from the outside and that was 7 in the morning. It's currently 3.53 in the morning. Shit, mate. mate, if he, if he, if he turns around and looks at us now, 
you scaring the shit out of me. Welcome to Los Angeles, guys. <laughs> Mate, is it even safe to get out around here? Even if you open the door, put your foot out and then come back in and lock the door again. What? No, I'm standing in front of that sign. I'm fully committing for Ellen Marine TV. If I get shot, I get shot. Right guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. This was staying overnight in the most dangerous part of the country. Yes, I'm a bit of a pussy and I'm not staying out here for too long because I don't want to die. Make sure you tune in next week for another banger video.